Things that we take for granted, you know, walk around, we see it every day. It's difficult to speak. We will rebuild Notre Dame, because that's what the French expect, and because it is what our history deserves. It's literally the heart of Paris. We are, I was born and raised here. I've seen this building all my life. It's part of my history, my culture, of everybody. For me, it's France that's been touched. France is burning. I feel like... Uh, Paris is all, Paris is crying now, not just me. An icon of Paris, and it's just shocking. And now it's all changed for all time. For the people of France, these images are heartbreaking. This iconic landmark, so dominant on the Paris skyline, is miraculously still standing, but much of it now reduced to a burnt-out shell. For more than eight centuries, Notre Dame survived revolutions and world wars. It will be rebuilt, but France will have to be patient. Experts believe it will be at least a decade before it's restored to its former glory. When I saw, you know, the flames, red, blood, orange flames coming out of the roof and the upper window, uh, rose windows, it was very shocking. A lot of people were in tears, some were silently praying, some others, sat, sat, you know, quietly singing uh, some uh, Catholic uh, um, uh, songs, and, uh, uh, but people were in shock because it's history. The first signs that something terrible was unfolding came early evening. In the cathedral below, mass was underway. Worshippers, completely oblivious to the blaze developing above them. Outside, their fellow Parisians could see much more clearly the magnitude of what was developing. The billowing smoke visible right across the French capital. Confined at first to just one end of the building, within the hour, the blaze had engulfed the entire roof, its ancient oak beams fueling the flames as horrified locals and thousands of tourists watched in disbelief. Everybody's just shocked, I think. They're just, you know, trying to, uh, to have this kind of last moment with, with Notre Dame. We saw the roof collapse. We're shocked. It's 850 years of history. It really hurts. We're sad. Arguably the cathedral's most recognizable feature, its needle-like spire, stood up to the inferno for longer than many had expected. But with its wooden supports eaten away by the flames, it was only a matter of time before the inevitable. <laughs> Firefighters from all over Paris fought to control this blaze their own video giving a close-up perspective of the monumental challenge they faced. With ancient wooden timbers already collapsing around them, 
There was for several hours real concern much of the stone fabric of this building would follow. This still aerial image taken at the height of the blaze showed an almost total collapse of the roof space. But a testament to the skills of the medieval craftsmen who built her, somehow the bulk of the stonework has survived. As the French president arrived to inspect the efforts of the emergency services, it was already becoming clear that they would be able to save the main structure. We will rebuild this cathedral together and it is undoubtedly part of the French destiny and a project for the years to come. But I am committed to it. A national fundraiser will be launched and well beyond our borders we will appeal to the greatest talents and many people will come to contribute to it. And we will rebuild. We will rebuild Notre Dame, because that's what the French expect, and because it is what our history deserves, because it's our underlying destiny. As a full investigation gets underway, the working theory is that this blaze was accidental. Construction workers had been involved in a multi-million euro restoration of Notre Dame and scaffolding covered parts of the roof where the fire started. In recent days, many of the copper statues representing the 12 apostles were dismantled and removed by crane. And inside, thanks to the bravery of firefighters, many of the priceless arts and other treasures were also saved. Some have been damaged, but it's hoped many can be restored. Remarkable teamwork was carried out to secure the most precious goods, notably the crown of thorns and the tunic of Saint Louis, which are safe in the city hall. The rest of the treasures will be put in safety in the Louvre from today or tomorrow, as quickly as possible. Regarding the paintings, the big paintings, the works of Notre Dame, these can be taken out of Notre Dame probably as soon as Friday morning. At the moment there is no damage linked to the fire, but damage linked to the smoke, so we will transport them safely to storage in the Louvre, where they will be dehumidified and protected, conserved and restored. Notre Dame is one of France's most popular tourist destinations. Steeped in history and immortalised in literature and on film with movies like The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Napoleon Bonaparte was crowned emperor at Notre Dame in 1804. In 1909, Joan of Arc, who'd helped France battle the English and was burnt at the stake centuries earlier, was beatified in the cathedral. Notre Dame is like the church of the nation. All the, the big events in French history have taken place here. When the king has a victory, there was a celebration in Notre Dame. Uh, here, Napoleon was crowned. Here, General de Gaulle celebrated the liberation after the Second World War. It's like just the church of the French nation. Also for non-believers, it's a very important place. Around the globe, world leaders have issued messages of sadness and support for the French people. In the UK, the Queen, whose own castle in Windsor was badly damaged by fire in 1992, said her prayers were with France as she praised the work of fire crews. At times of deep national trauma, symbolism can be all important and many have seized on the poignancy of these images. A golden crucifix still standing on the main altar, somehow surviving the inferno. I was very struck by a photograph we saw there at the far end of a devastated cathedral. There was a cross that was still standing. And when you think in these days we're celebrating Holy Week, we're celebrating the death on a cross and the resurrection of Jesus. And we can see in that image, yes, the destruction of a large part of a cathedral, but the promise of a resurrection as well.
With the fire now out and investigations well underway, attention is now turning to the task ahead in trying to restore this world-famous cathedral. Some of France's business leaders are already coming forward with offers of many millions of euros. This most spectacular of landmarks has suffered adversity and damage over the years and somehow survived. It will take time and huge effort, but the people of France have little doubt Notre Dame will rise again to take its place at the heart of their nation.